Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Sorry for this like little sun glare. Um, I could close the blinds, but I'm not going to. So hopefully it's not too awful. I don't really know. <laughs> but anyways, today's video is going to be my April book of the month wrap up all the books that I've read in April. I'm actually going to try to upload this today, April 30th. Um, hopefully it'll be a fun little surprise. Usually I only upload on Mondays and Thursdays. So a nice little Friday video for you guys. Hopefully, fingers crossed that it will be up, that you guys are watching this on April 30th. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and jump into all the books that I read in the month of April. If you guys didn't know, I have a Goodreads account. It is linked down below. You guys can uh, follow me on there. I am always updating it. I love writing the reviews, even though they're not my reviews aren't good I just like writing them but anyways I actually in my last book of the month recap like wrap up I said I would actually have physical copies of a majority of these books but for some reason I took all of my hard copies back home when I went home for like a couple days and so I don't have that many hard copies I'm sorry um, I'll tell you guys if I read the audiobook or not but this one is a devotional it's called life is blank 40 day experience a devotional journey through God's ideological love um, I rated it three stars um, it was pretty good it was from a male's perspective which is something that I'm not used to for devotionals and he was also married um, a husband like a pastor and so there was a lot of unrelated relatability for me but overall it was a good uh book and i rated it three stars another book is um this one was another hard copy that i had it's another devotional it's called strong devotions to live a powerful and passionate life um my boyfriend london got this for me for christmas i rated it four out of five it was really really good i really loved it um this is my first devotional by this author and yeah it was just good um i rated it four stars just because like it wasn't like like oh my gosh this is outstanding i rated four stars just because like it was really good i would probably read it again in a couple years or so next book i have is life and death in january i reread all the twilight books um the only books that i haven't read is life and death and then the second life or the short second life of Bree turner i'm still trying to get my hands on a copy of that i am assuming i'll probably read that in 2021 so just be prepared um this is another one that i have the physical copy um, I rated it a 5 out of 5. Obviously, I loved it so much. It was really weird reading it with all the genders reversed, but I actually really enjoyed it, and even the plot changed. Sorry if this is a spoiler alert, but like the ending isn't the same as the original Twilight, and so I thought it was interesting just to see it from that perspective, and it makes you appreciate the original story a little bit more, and so I really enjoyed that. My Twi Hard heart just literally loves it. Next one I have, I actually listened to the audiobook for this. It's called the Invisible Life of Abby LaRue. This was super popular. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. I rated it 5 out of 5. It was so good. I could not stop listening to it. Um, and in my in my little uh, review, I said probably my favorite fiction book I've read um, this year. Um, I don't know if I would say that really. Like, I can't decide what my favorite fiction book is yet, but after I finished this book, I was like really, really enjoying it. So, if that doesn't tell you anything. Next book I have um, is Live Fearless. This is Sadie Robertson's second book, I believe. Um, this was the, the third book of hers that I've read. I've read Live Original and then just Live. And so I really enjoyed this. You can definitely tell that it's written from someone that's a little younger. She was probably my age, maybe a little bit older than me when she wrote it. But I really liked it regardless. I thought she had some really good tips. And I'm excited because I think she may have already had her baby or she's about to have her baby. So yeah, it's just like, I really, I really do like Sadie Robinson. I have is, I'm actually just going to group these all together. I have the Court of Rones and, oh wait, what? A Court of Rones? What? The Court of Thorns and Roses. This series is so good. I read all four of the books. Um, I have the fifth one coming, so I'm very excited about that. But yeah, I thought this was super good. I read The Cruel Prince either last month or the month before, and I really enjoyed that. That's what got me into like fairy fantasy. The series that actually got me into fantasy was The Red Queen, and I believe I read that in January. Um, but yeah, I'm just like on a fantasy kick and this book series is so good. I think I read the first book in like two days and then these in three days and then this in one or two days. Literally such a good series. I really enjoyed it. Actually, my roommate Libby is reading the first book right now and I just like 
took it so I could put it back in here. Anyway, so I got this box set off of Brick Books for like $20 cheaper and it came brand new so I think that's great. But yeah, really like these books. The next book I have is called The Subtle Art and Not Giving an F. I listened to the audiobook for this one. It was really good. And um, going along with that, I also listened to You Are a, a Bad A Every Day and You Are a Bad Man. You Are a Bad A, I'm Making Money. So all of those I think I rated four to five stars. I thought they were all good self-help books. I really enjoyed it. Uh, they were all good, simple self-help books. I feel like they're all pretty popular, especially The Subtle Art and Not Giving Enough. I think I enjoyed that one more than the bad, bad A ones. Sorry, I feel like I'm just like, ugh, it's so annoying, but I don't really cuss, so. But those, I think I rated them all four stars. And then I have more Court of Thorns and Roses. And then I think the last book that I read this month, I actually read it yesterday. I finished it um, between yesterday and the day before, and it is uh, Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I love Taylor Jenkins Reid. Um, I read actually the, the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo was my favorite book of last year. And I read One True Loves earlier this year, or I read it last semester. Um, and so I was really excited to pick this up. I think this is one of her newer books. Um, and I actually went on thrift books and like added all of her novels to my wish list because I think I really like her writing. It's just so good. And I think I rated this five out of five. Anyways, that is all the books I read this, uh, this little month. I almost said this year and it's definitely not. I think I read 13 books. You guys can count and correct me, but I'm pretty sure I rated a lot of them five stars. Like all of the Court of Thorns and Roses were five, which is four books. And I have Life and Death, which is five books. And what else did I? I rated The Invisible Life of Addie, Relu or <laughs> Addie LaRue uh, five. So I think I had six five star books, which is pretty impressive, honestly. So yeah, April was a good month. I'm so excited for May. I have some stuff that I want to read. I think I'm going to do a reading vlog. I've never done one of those. I enjoy watching them. My favorite booktuber is Noelle Gallagher. I think that's how you pronounce her last name. And she does these book like vlogs, like reading vlogs, and I just love it so much. So don't be surprised if you do see some of those for me. I'm just trying to get through the rest of freshman year only two more weeks left which is crazy i will be done by classes in two weeks time which is just like insane it flew by i'm going to start editing this video that way i can get it up before i have to work but yeah let me know what you guys read in the month of april or what you're planning on reading in may i really love to hear all the book recommendations so yeah i will see you guys very soon peace and love bye guys